Hey, I'm Jason and this is Joe, and today we're gonna build a drum riser made out of pallets, cause Joe's way down low. Jason and Joe build stuff sometimes. Joe and I play in two different bands together, and sometimes when we're practicing, Joe looks like he's a mile below me because he's sitting down at the drums and I'm standing up. Running a warehouse leaves Joe and I with a wealth of extra pallets. We're gonna try to find a way to put them to good use today by putting together this drum riser. Pallets are 40 by 48, which means our drum riser is gonna have to be multiples of those numbers. Like... Say 96, say 96. Nope, 64 by 80. So it looks like we wanna go four pallets as far as the area that this takes up. We're gonna put them so they're longer this way and put two by two. That'll bring us out 96 inches, which is about here, and 80 inches wide, which is the exact width of the carpet. Which leaves us with our question now of how high to make these. How many pallets high should we be going? Yes. And I guess we can uh, go measure how high a pallet is. Let's go. Pallets vary in heights. These blue ones, are about five and three quarters. I guess the idea is to match them with ones that are close in height, and then when we put on multiple layers, add shims or little pieces of wood to make sure that the top layer is the, is the exact height. Right now, your sitting height. These, these beautiful blues are at 50 inches. 62. Looks like our target height is 12 inches. Alright, step one, we gotta get these drums out of here. Alright, bring the pallets in. See what we're looking at. That's day one with the drum riser. We got to uh, get some plywood on top now, some stuff around the sides to make it look pretty, and this should be uh, done pretty soon. So uh, if we have long beards in the next part of the video, you see, that means it's been a while. Otherwise, uh, and for you, it'll be like a second. So here, watch this, boom, you. All right, we're back. We don't have that long of beards. It's been about a week, and we're gonna get back today. We're gonna take this thing right underneath us. We're gonna level it out. We're gonna add a top to it, and uh, that sounds good. Let's see how it goes, boom. Hey. It's pretty level. Pretty level indeed. We're gonna start in this back corner here, as this is the highest pallet. So we're gonna wanna bring all the other pallets up to this height and make sure they're all level. So we're gonna drill this into the pallet below it before we cover it in plywood. Yeah, I think we're just gonna shim back here, just a, just a smidge. Um, it's okay. I've seen more level things. Slide these guys out, we'll level this these back to first and then we'll work on Okay. So we're using some scrap wood we had around the warehouse just to shim up this pallet right here and get it to the same height as the one next to it. Joe's doing a quick bit of pallet surgery to make sure the pallet is sturdy all around. So we'll put drums on top of it and we're jumping on it. Now that they're all screwed into each other, all the pallets, and it's all been leveled, we're just adding the plywood to the top. Gonna cut the pieces on the side. We're putting the one full piece down the middle to hit all four different pallet groups. And then we'll cut to the sides, which look good. And we don't get called out because this is technically OSB. I don't know if you can call OSB plywood. So, there you go. Sorry. OSB, not plywood. 
before what? they kill us in the comments. The OSB cost us what, Joe? 14 bucks. It's 14 bucks a piece. So, so far our total cost on this build is 28 bucks on two pieces of the OSB. I want to make sure this is positioned so it's like the same distance away. Um, so I can cut a straight piece and I know that, you know, because if this is on an angle, then it's got to be wider here and shorter there. <laughs> That's the blooper. It's doing pretty good. I think so too. How's it feel, Joe? Sturdy? Instantly sturdy. Could you drum on that? I could drum all over this. Now that we got the OSB screwed into the center, we got to do the outsides. We're going to cut some of uh, the other piece so it fits on the two sides. I'm going to move it to 16. All right, now we're just going to put those two pieces on the outside. Screw it in. Look at that. Looks like a glove. Alright, we got ourselves a drum riser. It's sturdy. It's sturdy, you can hold drums at this point. Now we just gotta make the outsides look nicer. Time to make it beautiful. Yeah, let's get pretty. Let's get hey. real pretty with this baby. Now we have the last scrap piece of wood. We had a couple other pieces of wood. We're gonna cut those all to make the sides and the front. So we ran out of daylight about a week ago. Today we're picking it back up. We're painting, we're cutting the sides, and we're putting them on, and we're almost done. Getting to the end. All right, it's been a few weeks since we've been back here, but we're back to do the finishing touches on this and get this project done. We bought some uh, LED lights. We added, how much were those? Any idea? $20. So our total price was $20 plus whatever I said earlier. And I'll post it right here. And there's our total price. Whoa, we did it for that cheap. <laughs> so here it is in three, two, drum riser. gotta kill these lights it looks great <laughs> the lights are gonna look so awesome with that out
That's it. We're done. We built the drum riser. We'll be back soon with more of building videos. Hope you liked it. If you uh, want us to build something for you, write it below. Kill us in the comments. Uh, this is how long our beards got, or my beard. Joe's beard stayed about the same throughout, but this one grew because it's been a while, and I hope you liked it. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Bye. Wait, that thing's good.